We live in a busy world and we have busy lives and sometimes it's perfectly acceptable to cut a few corners and cheat a bit in the kitchen. And today's recipe is all about cheating and shortcuts. Let's make some beautiful little mini apple pies, the cheater's version, on The One Pot Chef. First things first, we're going to work on our pie filling. Now, a big cheat on this one is I'm going to be using a can of pie apples. Now, this is an 800 gram can, and what's great about this is that there's literally nothing to do with the apples. All you have to do is tip them into a bowl. There's no peeling, there's no chopping, you don't even have to cook them because they've already been partially cooked by the canning process. So, really, this is a massive time saver. Next I'm adding in a little bit of brown sugar, a quarter of a cup. And to get that lovely apple pie pudding flavour to it, I'm adding in some cinnamon, one teaspoon. And we're just going to carefully mix that together until all the apples are coated in the sugar and the cinnamon. Now don't worry if the apples break up a bit, they'd do that anyway if we were cooking them on the stove. Now once that's mixed together like so, we're just going to set this aside for a few minutes and what's going to happen is that cinnamon and the sugar are going to get moistened by the juice of the apples and it's going to start infusing into the apples. So just set this aside for five minutes. My next big cheat on this one is I'm using some frozen ready roll puff pastry that I've just taken out of the freezer and allowed to defrost. I've got three sheets and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each sheet into four even squares like so. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but we'll end up with 12 little squares. Next I've got a 12 hole muffin pan and I've just lightly sprayed the holes with a little bit of spray on oil and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of the pastry squares and I'm just going to carefully press them into each hole like so. You'll notice I haven't trimmed the pastry that's because we're going to use that excess pastry to seal up each of the pies. Now all we need to do is divide the apple mixture between each of the pies. Then all you need to do is just fold the pastry corners over to enclose each pie. And just pinch together any gaps, like so. To give them a bit of a glaze on top, I've just beaten an egg in a cup and just using a pastry brush, I'm just going to lightly brush the top of each one with the egg wash. And to give the top of each pie a little bit of sweet, spicy goodness, I've made some cinnamon sugar, about two tablespoons of white sugar and half a teaspoon of cinnamon just mixed together. And I'm just going to sprinkle that over the top of each. And our little apple pies are ready to go into the oven. Preheated oven, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the pastry is puffed and golden. While our little pies are baking in the oven, I just thought I'd remind you guys to check me out on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Links in the video description underneath this video. And don't forget to go to my YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget to click that little notification bell. That way you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Our little apple pies are just out of the oven. As you can see, the pastry is puffed up and nice and golden. They smell amazing. We're going to leave them in the pan for about 15 minutes to cool before transferring them onto a wire rack to cool completely. These little apple pies can be served hot or cold. You can also allow them to cool completely, then put them into a Ziploc bag in a single layer and freeze them for up to six months. So you can always have a little bit of apple pie indulgence whenever you want. Crispy and golden and gorgeous. I am absolutely dying to try this. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. Look at those beautiful chunks of hot apple in there. You can see the steam coming off it. It's very, very hot. <laughs> so you get that slightly caramelised cinnamon sugar on top. 
you've got that beautiful hot moist apple sweet and slightly spicy from the cinnamon and you've got that lovely flaky pastry absolutely to die for well i hope you enjoyed this recipe check out my other videos at onepotchefshow.com and until next time see you later Using this basic recipe, you can use any fruit you like to make whatever type of pie you desire. You can use pitted cherries, you could use pear or peach, you could do all sorts of different fruity pies and they are absolutely divine. It's so simple to make, so go out, make your own combinations and feel free to send me some pics on social media so I can see what you're baking. I'd love to see what you guys do.